Yo, it's Mel from Holla Direct TV, Holla Direct Apparel, Ainscape.com. What are you guys working on? What am I working on? I'm trying to school y'all or something. I want to talk to y'all about something real quick. Today, what I want to talk to y'all about, and this is part one to this. What I want to talk to you about today is copyright infringement. What is copyright infringement? Copyright infringement, long story short, in a nutshell, is profiting from something that does not belong to you. Now, I do have extensive information on this subject right here in front of me. However, I do not have the time in this video to run all of this down. You, as an artist, are going to have to do your due diligence if you want to make it as more than an artist and hobbyist in this business and become an entrepreneur. You have to do your due diligence. You must be a creator. I mean, seriously, legally, there's so many parts to it, as you can see. I can't even begin to get into these subjects. You are going to have to be solely responsible for everything you produce. We know this font from Batman Forever, a movie that came out in 1996, I believe it. But I don't know if the makers of that movie had anything to do with that font. So these are the little things you got to look into. And a lot of people don't pay attention to those things, but they should. And the reason that they should is because you can get tangled up on that hook for not watching what you're biting. I got this picture right here, and I'm debating if I'm going to use it as a thumbnail or not. But long story short, pictures from Google, we don't know where this picture came from. If this picture is licensed or copyrighted or trademarked in whatever form or fashion, I could get in trouble for that if I put that on the garment and made profit from it. So it's these little things you got to be careful about. Look, it's okay to take something. But when you take something, you have to make it yours. What I mean by make it yours is put something unique in there. But you can't see. Listen, you can't use something that belongs to someone else. You see this ticket right here? I don't know who did this. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take this licensed, copyrighted logo out of there. And I'm going to make this for my friend. Shout out to my friend Slick Talk. And really be outside, RBO, really be outside. This logo right here, I'm not responsible for this logo, but this is what he wanted in here. That's the logo that he's using. Originally, it's a logo flip from HBO, which is Home Box Office, which is another copyrighted logo. So what we did was we put an R there instead of the H, and we turned the R backwards. Well, his designer. Changed a couple things around. Put some tear marks and chips and distress up in there to make it look more original. And that's how it's going to print out. It's not going to print out like that other ticket. Change some colors around just a little bit, not too much. And that's how you make it yours. Make it your design. I don't know. Probably print out some stickers or something. Or flip these horizontal and, um, I don't know, make some chess pieces. Maybe put them on some foam trucker hats. Whatever he wants to do with them, it's up to him because he made it his. So I want to talk a little bit about this. But mostly this. And a lot of people are getting ready to bash me for the things I'm getting ready to say. But I don't care about that. Because in the long run, you'll know I'm here for you. I care about you. Trust me. Believe me when I tell you. The problems that these people are getting ready to bring you behind this mouse. <laughs> Listen. People be bashing me. Calling me all kind of haters in these Facebook groups. Because I tell people, stay away from the mouse. Disney not playing. Gucci not playing either. Nike not playing either. I want to talk about y'all. Y'all thought y'all was off the hook. Excuse me for a minute. Let me drag this down here just a little bit. Let me tell you something. Let me talk about Nike. Let me talk about this for a minute. You guys that go out and get these vinyl cutters and some jerseys, sweatsuits, or whatever brand sweatsuits y'all got, and you cut out a Nike logo, notice that the check is registered as well as the Nike. They probably copyrighted that word for you, know. And here you go with your cricket cutter, cutting out this logo and putting it on sweatsuits and selling it out your back door, wherever you're selling it from. I'm not hating on you, get your money. But what I'm saying is, you invested all this time and this money into learning this craft or attempting to learn this craft. Take it seriously, create your own stuff. Stop being a thief. You are a thief if you cutting this out and putting this on sweatsuits or any garments and selling it for money you a thief i understand you're supposed to did this right here in a matter of seconds all right now get it i know it's tempting you might know some people that know that you make shirts and they might say hey we going down to orlando or out to california next month you think you can get us some disney shirts 
Do you get us some Mickey Mouse shirts? Yo, be like, nah, because then they're going to want to tag you, and then they're going to tag Disney in it, too. And that tells Disney, huh, maybe we ought to find out who this guy is and pay them a visit. Do you know that as big as these people are, Nike and all these people, do you know that these people will come to your door with those men in black because you selling their stuff? Huh? Listen, I'm going to save that for episode two. I'm going to save that for part two of copyright infringement. But listen, I just don't understand how I'm a hater because I'm telling you something that could keep you from doing yourself potential disservice. You understand? I don't know how I'm a hater for that. But if anything, that make me a lover because I'm trying to keep you from getting in trouble. This could get you into some very serious trouble. Trouble that you never thought would come. Because you had that naive attitude that it could never happen to me. Oh, they ain't worried about me. Yes, they are. Yes, they are worried about you. They got to protect their investment. They will do that at all costs. And you need to be protecting yours. You need to protect your own butt. Protect yourself at all times. Just be careful. Let me show you a couple things that are okay and not okay. This right here. Perfectly okay. This right here. Not okay. This is your average logo flip. Okay, not okay. Again, one more time. Perfectly fine. Looks like we have a problem. Anytime you see this R right here, that means that it's registered. For all we know, they went ahead and registered that word as their word. So if you put Adidas even in a different font, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have some trouble and they will wear these nice looking sports athletic sneakers to your door with representatives from the Homeland Security Department. Do you want that? I don't think you want that kind of smoke at your door. Yo, listen, I'll be honest with y'all. I've been quiet for quite some time because I had to reconfigure my whole game. And not that I really use these logos right here or anything, but it's more so anything like pictures from a movie or celebrities, stuff like that. You just really got to be careful. So that just kind of sent me back to the drawing board and made me want to master Photoshop even more so I could start making my own designs and being in charge of my craft 100% without having to rely off of the influence of these movies, these TV shows, these actors, these actresses, these celebrities, these rappers, whatever the case, whatever may have you. I just want to tap into my own creativity and I just feel that other people should be doing the same, staying away from these, staying far away from stuff like this. This could get you into trouble and I'm only telling you this because I care, all right? And I'm going to save the rest of this for part two. I got a very special treat for y'all. Just stay tuned. It's Mel from Holler Direct TV, Holler Direct Apparel, Ainscape.com. What are you working on?